Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much, Mama. Sorry for the breaking track. When we talk of those years, the Lord, we are talking of God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. He that can never lie. He that can never disappoint. He that is forever faithful. And once again, I want to welcome a lot of us. We are 33 people now online. Hallelujah. And I know that um, more of our brethren we still join. So I want to appreciate us once again for coming. And I want to tell us that today will be a special day. Because when we are talking of the faithfulness of God, we are talking about the personality of God. God that can never lie. I love him for that. Men can disappoint you. Families can disappoint. But this God has never disappointed. What he says he will do, he will do. What he wouldn't do, he wouldn't tell us. Lord Jesus Christ told us in John 14, he says if it were not so, if I'm not going to go and prepare a place for you, I will not say, I will not promise you. You can't even take him to court. <laughs> Someone you cannot see. So our situation, the situation of the world does not define God. Amen. So as a result, when he says, thus says the Lord, this is what the Lord has said, and that is what he will do. Hallelujah. I'm so excited about the topic the Lord has given us to pray over. Once again, I have a couple of uh, pastors online, both female and male, and I want to appreciate you specially because we are colleagues. But you are not seeing me. You are seeing the God that is in me. So I want to appreciate us. And I want to also appreciate all our intercessors. People calling at 11, at 30 minutes before the hour, because we are calling in at different times. I see people from Mauritius. I say, bless you. I see people from Republic of Benin. I see people from Switzerland. I want to say from England, from all over the world, Canada. We have a lot of people from America and Nigeria. I want to say thank you for calling in. Wherever we've called in, wherever the sun, we can see the sun with the Lord made, and we are calling in, just know that the goodness of the Lord will be your portion, will be my portion today in the name of Jesus. So please, if you have time, 30 minutes before the hour, you log in, intercessors are there praying for this program. And the board of ministers and I would like to thank our financial uh, partners for the donations towards the outreach program. We do not charge, we do not actually have expenses as it were for this program, except for one thing, the outreach program that the Lord has given us is one of our pillars of this ministry of Victoria Circle Ministry. We feed the widows. The, the orphans, those who are in need, and the elderly, the elderly and the widows, they are my heartbeat. And I know they're also the heartbeat of God, those who don't have anyone. So please, um, if you know, if you can anchor it in any state, any country, thank God for your life. The second quarter, we did it last Sunday, amen, in Benin, in Nigeria. And we are believing God that the third quarter, We'll be, we take it to South Africa where we we'll feed the orphans, orphans, or we will bless them, not really feed them orphans and the motherless babies home. So if you can anchor it in your state, in your country, let us know. The board of ministers, they will arrange, we get the funds to you. So for those who have been blessing us with their donation, we say thank you. Abba Father. And for last, um, the last Sunday, the second quarter, we like to just share some of the pictures, you know, with us, how they were, um, 
they were glad. They were happy, you know, to be here. And I pray that uh, this will be... Uh -huh. Okay. So these are some of the people. They saw where the um, distributions were going on. We sent 300,000 uh, Nigerian money to buy uh, rice and beans. And they were able to share with the people, even those who were just um, passing by. So we thank the Lord for this. And we have, and I'm trying to, okay. All right. The elderly. You know, this is an old man by himself, you know. And these are not people that you can say, oh, they have children. After all, they will be able to. The pastor one calls it is online. And these are the things we bought. These are the things that were packaged. And the ladies in yellow, they are ambassadors. We have this um, uniform, this color t shirt for every place that we have ambassadors who help us package it and give it out. So at this point, I will just bring, I will unmute Pastor John Ade Yemo. You know, he's the he's our anchor person in Nigeria, actually. He has been, and I'll just let him say a word to us uh, from the people, because I couldn't show the recordings. You know, Pastor Demo. Hello, good evening, everybody from Nigeria. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, we bless the Lord for what the VCM is doing in Nigeria, particularly in Benin City. The people were so excited, they were happy, both the elderly, the widow, the widowers, and the children. Even non-member, the Muslim, everybody, they were blessed. And they were saying, the almighty God, we move the VCM forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Adeyemu. Mm -hmm. We bless the Lord. You've been anchoring this for three years. That's not easy. It's a full pastor in the redeemed Christian Church of God. He says that walk apart to be the point man on ground. And as I said, please. If you have, if you know of anyone of you yourself can anchor, because the Lord said true religion is for us to visit the needy, to visit the widows, the orphans, those who are in need. And uh, we thank you very much for what you have been doing up to date. Our partners, the ministers who give relentlessly, I say, God bless you indeed. Hallelujah. Father, we are grateful. The hour has come. Thus is the Lord. Hallelujah. The maker of heaven and earth, the possessor of heaven and earth, the one who said, I made the heavens and the earth by the power of my word and by the power of sin, I've upheld it. You now want us to bring your word back to you this, this day, this hour, wherever we are listening from, and those who will listen later, those who couldn't make it, who will go on YouTube to listen. Father, we thank you because of your promises, the idea and name. Heaven and I shall pass away, but not an out of your promise of your word unto us. And Father, we thank you, oh, my Jekere, as the Holy Spirit will lead us this afternoon as we share these words. May your holy name be glorified. May our hearts be blessed. Please bless my tongue. Make it like the pen of a ready writer that as I hear expressly, I will share with your people. And the people of God say, Amen. And as we always do, please let the chat be very interactive. Type amen to any word the Holy Spirit will say to you today that you will that resonates with you, that connects with your spirit. Just type amen into the chat. Thank you very much. So, what is the Lord telling you or saying to you? 
I think in one form or the other, over the past six months, God has been coming to us in various ways. It's because he wants his children to believe in him, believe his word, because he wants to do great and mighty things in our lives. Unbelief, fear, we not allow him. It's as if we've limited the Holy One of Israel. So he says to us again, what is the, thus says the Lord, the Lord is saying to you, what is the, what is that word? What's that situation that opposes the word of God in our lives? We deal with them in the place of prayer on this prayer mountain, on this prayer summit today. Anything that limits God in your life, anything that mocks God, that mocks the word of God, and they say they are Christian. And they say this, and they say that, and they have been going to church. I see them carrying their Bible. Look at how their life is. Today, in the name of Jesus, the Lord of heaven, the Lord Jehovah himself, will deal with such situations in the name of Jesus. In Amen. Isaiah 48, verse 17, Isaiah 48, verse 17, which is our anchor scriptures, I've been reading the New King James Version. Say, thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, hey, hey, and the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit. Some of that translation says, he teaches us what is best for us. He teaches us how to benefit from our endeavors. You know, there are some people, they work, they labor, they are in ministry, they are in uh, over uh, organizations. The, the same people that are their colleagues, they are doing the same thing, like they are in business, but they are not profiting. They are not what profit. Father says, I'm the Lord who will teach you how to profit. I will teach you how not to make mistakes that you are losing out. The Lord says, I'm the one who will teach you for your own benefit. So you are not losing uh, energy. You are not laboring. In the word of the Lord says, in every labor, there's profit. Some of us are laboring, there's no profit. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, today, we put an end to it in the name of Jesus. Can we yeah. please mute our lines? I can hear feedback. Somebody's line is not muted. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, who teaches us how to benefit from endeavors we are engaging? Glory be to his holy name. This is the first part. So who is this Lord? You know, there's a way that your situation will challenge God. Your circumstance will challenge the word of God in your life. Who is this Lord that we should believe in? Who is this Lord that you are making me to say, I should, I should let you go? I dare say that the Lord we are talking about is the Lord that defines himself in Isaiah 55, 10 to 11. Isaiah 55, 10 to 11. He says that as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and does not return there, but waters the earth and make it to bring forth and board. The, you don't see snow going by the same way it came. After it has done what it wants to do, when it evaporates, evaporates as water, not as snow. Hallelujah. He said that may give seed to the sower and the bread to the eater. He said, so shall my word be. This is the Lord that says, I am your redeemer. I'm the holy one of Israel. When I say a thing to you, does not return to me. But it will accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the thing that I sent it. The word of the Lord will prosper in your life today. The word of the Lord will prosper in my life today in the name of Jesus. So our first prayer point, having said that, you know the Lord that we are referring to, the thus there's the Lord. 
He's the Holy One of Israel. He's our God, our Redeemer. He's the maker of heaven and earth. He's the one who says it and who does it. He says, so shall his word be. So this is the Lord we are praying to this morning. So I want you to first of all thank the Lord. And say, thank you, Lord, that your word and your promises you've declared to me and my family in time past, they will not return to you void anymore. They will not return void unto you anymore. Father, they will accomplish your purpose in my life. They will accomplish your purpose in my life. Lift up your voices and pray. Pray and say, Lord, I'm grateful for your word that you, I do not know it. You can say all of us are muted and I'm the only one. Stay, Father, I thank you for the word you gave my lineage, for the word you oh my jeke rebo soto ba 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 sata jeke rebo soto ba 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 ba. Thank you, Lord, for the word you gave my parents. Thank you, Lord, you for the word you gave my spam. Thank you, Lord, for the word you gave you spoken over my children. But Lord, I cannot see them being accomplished. I can't see them being manifested. Is it your your help? He says that. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. I know. <laughs> About 10 years ago, I was on the wheelchair. 10 years ago, I could not lift up this hand. Oh, my Jekerebosata. Maybe about four years ago, I was on the hospital bed during COVID. They were having an open heart surgery. But the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord came to me as I was recuperating in that uh, where is it? that they they put me he said you will not die he told me 10 years ago what is the word of the lord unto you i'm saying my own there are so many other things promises of god tell the lord father all your promises that you have made to me either from above either from my pastors from my ministers, from those who have authority over me, the general overseer, my general overseer, because we are from various churches here. Tell the Lord, Father, I thank you. Your promises over my children. Uh -uh. So God says uh, we will be above and not beneath. Wherever they are walking, they must be the best. They must be the one winning award. My JK Revosata, they are children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he says that whatsoever he gives us is perfect. Father, Lord, these children you have given me, they are perfect in all ways. In all ways. Thank you, Father. They will not be beneath. In the name of Jesus, thank the Lord that there will be accomplishment. There will be accomplishment. In the name of Jesus, I pray to the Lord that anything preventing my lifting up, anything preventing the lifting up of my family, suppressing my head. When I want to lift it up, I get suppressed. When the Lord has said, I'm your shield, I'm your glory, and the lifter up of my head. Oh, my Jekere, but crying unto the Lord this morning, this anytime you're calling him from, and say, Father, anything that's challenging the word of God. Anything that's challenging the word of God in my life. This head, hear the word of the Lord. You must be lifted up. Even in ministry, you must be lifted up. In my office, you must be lifted up. With the works of my hand, you must be lifted up. Cry unto the Lord. Father, I thank you. I've come to this mountain. I've come to this prayer summit. I will not go in vain. My head, hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted up in my health. In my health, if there's anyone with a health challenge, name me, tell the Lord, my well-being, the well-being of my family, your finances, tell the Lord, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, my father, my God, my there are people who don't even know you and they are controlling millions. Hey, we are begging, please let's donate to our father and say, if you bless me, I will just come here and say, I've done this. I've heard the widows. I've heard this. Ah, oh, my God, the earth is yours. Tell the Lord, my JK Rebo Sata, I will live in plenty and I will not lie. These are the words of God unto all. Ah, oh, my, my JK Rebo Sata, and I will not give up. My God, I will not give up. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be tired. I will not be weak. I will not be weary. I will achieve purpose in Jesus' mighty name. 
we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. There are so many key words in this in this um, prayer, just this uh, prayer number one. So many key words. And you know the word of the Lord says, once the Lord spoke, but twice I heard it. If you will just type one word that you heard, one word that you heard, because we don't want to be spectators on this prayer summit. We don't want to be. We can pray the things I'm calling now, but when you type it, it settles in your spirit, man, because you will think about it. I saw something here, and I said, Lord, my head will be lifted up. I will not be suppressed. I will not give up the pursuit of God. Pursuit. You can just put pursuit. You know what you're saying there. I, you know, no situation will prevent my head from being lifted up. As I'm praying it, the Lord also, because these are the words of the Lord, they are not my words. They are also settling in my spirit, man, that God will destroy everything. Oppose. Opposing the word of God in my life. Just type it. Be in agreement. And if you can type, if you're in a place where you can type that word, just type it. It will resonate with your spirit and it will stay in our spirit, man. Amen. Prayer number two is found in the verse 11 of our main, main scripture. Amen. Of that um, Isaiah 55, verse 11, Isaiah 55, verse 11 that there will be accomplishment. He said there will be accomplishment. That's which I, I promise you, I will, I will fulfill. I will bring to pass. What has the Lord promised you? Remember in Luke 145, Luke 145 says, there shall be performance of those things that I promised to you, if only I believe. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me in the name of Jesus. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. So we are going to talk to the Lord now and say, there's one thing, Abba Father said, tell them. There's one thing that's been recurring in their life, recurring expectation. Father, I want my children to, to have babies. I want uh, this particular uh, job to come through for my children. I want this particular contract to come through for my spouse, for myself. I think there's one recurring thing that has been plaguing your heart. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 119, verse 89. Psalm 119, verse 89. Forever, O Lord, thy word is what is settled. I see how that translation is eternal. It stands firm. It's fixed. Hallelujah. He says the word of the Lord is settled. It's everlasting. It's unchangeable. Now lift up your voices to heaven. I say, Lord, I trust your word. Because say, if I believe, there shall be performance. This one thing, we are all muted. Say to the Lord, that one thing, one thing. It could be your health. It could be your job. It could be your children. It could be your spouse. It could be the ministry. It could be the church because of pastors are in our me. It could be the need of the ministry. Tell the Lord, there's this one thing. Our Father said there will be accomplishment today. That because you believe me, you believe me. When you believe with your heart and confession is made by your mouth, you are come to power. You shall come to power. Tell the Lord, I believe. My God, I believe that with you all things are possible. With you all things are possible. My God, I believe. I believe there will be performance today. There will be performance in this year, 2024. Father, Lord, this year, this year, that situation will not go unfulfilled. It will not go unaccomplished. My God, is it my finances? Is it my health? Whatsoever it may be, 
tell it to the Lord. He's the only way maker. He's the only way. There's no help from any other place. Just tell the Lord, Father God, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, that there shall be performance in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Our prayer number three. The Lord has said, it's in perfect peace he will keep us. According to Isaiah 26, 3. Father says there are so many people that are in, in, um, how do I say, in, in, in um, disarray. There are some people, they are not at peace. To sleep is a problem. To, easy, to travel is a problem. They are so afraid of the children the Lord has given to them. They are so afraid of the very life. The Abba Father says, He that keepeth his red does not sleep nor slumber. You can't sleep at night. You are so worried. In so many, in so many I don't know how, what, how they call it. You cannot sleep. Oh my God and my King, you are going to pray this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are calling from, from all over the world. There are more nations who have joined us since we started to pray. We are 44 people. So you can imagine 13 people has joined us since the last time that I called on maybe 12 people. So we are going to cry on to the Lord this morning because let me tell us what, how Amplify says it. Isaiah 26 verse 3. He said you will keep in perfect and constant peace. I love that. Constant peace. It's not that you will have peace today, tomorrow you lose your peace because something is happening. Really, a child of the kingdom, a child that God says, you are the apple of my eyes. He says that you are, you know, you have been engraved in the hollow of you. Can you imagine? Let's even just say apple of God's eye. It's the most important place in our eyes. So if you want to poke my eyes now, automatically my eyelids will protect my eyes. That is how you are to God. Don't let anybody, don't let situations that you are passing through, Father says it shall come to pass. It's temporal, hallelujah. As long as our God is on the throne and he's on the throne forevermore. Amplified says, he will keep us in perfect and constant peace. The one whose mind is steadfast. What is steadfast? That is committed and focused on him. In both inclination and character. We don't say, oh, God will keep me. I'm a Christian, but our character, our way of life is not showing it. Hey, weeping may endure for a night, but what? Joy comes in the morning. He's God of the mountain as he's God in the valley. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass whatsoever you are passing through. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he, he says to us, he says to us, that because you trust and take refuge in him with hope and confident expectation. We are going to cry unto the Lord and say, Father, this issue of life that is bothering me about my child, about my spouse, about my family, about marriage. Some of us are so worried for spouses, for our children, partners, for our children. Oh, they are growing old. Father, when we need be, when we, uh, uh, whatsoever is troubling my mind today, whatsoever is bogging you down, oh, leave the word of God against it. Pray and say, Father, you have said you will keep me in perfect and constant peace. I receive your peace. Oh, my Jesus. I receive your peace, my God. I, I, I receive the peace of God that passes all understanding. I receive it today, my Lord. I receive it today, my Lord. Receive that peace. Because the Prince of Peace, Jehovah Shalom himself is here on this on this platform. In the name of Jesus, my J.K. Rebo Satan, two other people have joined us. I want you to know, I want you to know, my J.K. Rebo Satan, that the peace of God that passes all understanding 
is here with us, is here with you, and in this year 2024, you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Everything that's been challenging your faith, challenging the word of God in your life today, it comes to an end. We see the end of it in the name of Jesus. One of my favorite scriptures, very favorite, is what we are going to pray for the for this prayer number four. And this I shared with a church on Friday in uh, in Florida, in Miami, Florida. I'm in Florida right now. We are broadcasting from the Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof is Jeremiah eight twenty two. It has encouraged me, it has helped me, it has never failed me. The word of God does not fail. Jeremiah 8, 22 says, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician thereof? Why then is the health of the people, the King James, I would say, the daughter of my people, recovered? Other translations say, the Berean translation says, why is the daughter, why are my people, the health of my people, not restored? NIV says, hmm, why is there no healing? For the wound of my people, why is there no healing? It's asking, all, the Bible says, can't you know that Jehovah Rapha himself, he paid the price on the cross at Calvary. His back was wounded he, by his stripes. We are healed. They're asking, what is going on? Why are we not restored? A lot of us, we have health challenges. Some brought to us due to old age, some by the enemy, but in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be no more. Please let people type no more. No more. It says, so the answer is in Isaiah 42, verse 22. Isaiah 42, verse 22. He said, but this is, these are people plundered and looted. They are all of them trapped in holes and hidden in prisons. They have become plundered with none to rescue. Oh my goodness. None to rescue. None to remove the spoil with none to say restore. Ha! No one is crying restore. Today, we are going to unmute. Hallelujah. We are going to unmute and say, Father, I cry restore. I cry restore. I cry restore. I cry, restore. I cry, restore. My God, say no one is crying. No one is saying restore. Tell the Lord, Father, those of us who are on the prayer summit today, we are saying restore. We cry restore. We cry restore. In the name of Jesus, everywhere that the enemy has plundered my family, has stolen things from me, has protected my health, has protected my job, oh, my dear Caleb, I cry the well-being of my life. I cry restoring the ministry. I cry restoring my body. I cry restoring my finances. My finances. I cry restoring the name of Jesus. I cry restoring the name of Jesus. By the Lord, I cry restoring this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. By the Lord, I cry restoring in the name of Jesus. I cry restoring my body. I cry restore the life of Fumila and Ego. I cry restore in Jesus' name. Amen and amen as you have declared in the ears of the Lord, the Lord will answer us in Jesus' name. And our final prayer point on this prayer summit, amen. Can we please mute? Hallelujah. In our main text, the Lord says in that Isaiah 48, 17 B or C, depending on your Bible, it says, he leads up by the way we should go. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, our Redeemer, our Jehovah, 
He says, I teach you to profit and then I lead you in the way to go. Part of the, the teaching of our Lord is this text. He leads us. The Bible says you will hear a voice behind you say, go this way, go that way. Through the reading of his word, the reading of his word, <laughs> the reading of this word, you can't go, you can't miss it. When Abba Father leads you through his word. So he said to us, the word of the Lord came as I was writing this note. This is a word of prophecy for somebody. So please, we will listen attentively. As I was writing this, I was preparing it. The Lord says, he had led someone. He showed this person the way to go. He said he has provided opportunities upon opportunities for this person that will make him to rise above the level he is. But he says that this person has refused to move. He said this person is so scared, so afraid. You know, it's as if I, I can do it. I can't. Father says, if you're afraid of your life that I, Jehovah, gave you, if I'm the one leading you, he said that is why opportunities have, have uh, gone past you. He said, but because of today, he said, once again, glory be to the name of the Lord. He said, once again, I will make this opportunity available. He said, therefore, do not allow fear, do not allow doubt to stand in your way again. He said, keep your eyes on me. I will lead you, you will know I'm the one leading you. Hallelujah. That's just the word of the Lord unto somebody here. If you are afraid, you are afraid, you will see a, 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 almost a somewhat a, um, similar opportunity open to you. Please take it. Jump into it, knowing that the Lord will back us up. So we will now pray. We will pray and say, I will let the, our minister think they come to lead us. You know, where you lead me, I will go. I will mute now and bring Minister Benjamin up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Mr. Benjamin, you are going to cry unto the Lord and say, Father, 
from this day forward, when you leave me, I will go. When I hear that gentle voice behind me, showing me opportunities, opportunities, where you lead me, I will go. Turn it into prayer. Turn it into prayer. Say, Father, I need, as the Lord was leading me, you and I, we need help us of destiny. Help us of destiny. Destiny connectors. Destiny facilitator. Destiny organizer. I just, I bought a book written by one of my leaders in the redeemed Christian of God. He said, Eighteen destiny, eighteen destiny helpers you need is written by Pastor Fadet. I don't know whether it is in, um, on Amazon. I asked him this morning, but he's not responded. Ha! Huh. The those three, the first three things I'm saying here that we are praying about: destiny connectors. Destiny facilitator and destiny organizer, they are in that book. I want you to pray and say, Father, for this year 2024, this is just the end of the, of the second quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, tell the Lord, I need those who will connect me, O oh Lord, to the people who will help me, who will help me achieve this opportunity. Destiny facilitator that they say, do you need funds? I know where you can get it. Do you need this? I know where you can. You need people to work in your factory. I know where to get it. What about the organizer? What about you need them? You need them. Everyone, everyone. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Kemi. Every destiny organizer. I need them in the name of Jesus. There are 50 people of 50 of us crying now on this. You think heaven will not hear us? He says, wait two or three. But right now we are 50. Oh my JK Rebosa. My God, I need destiny connectors. I'm tired of the level that I am I'm in. I am tired. Oh my JK Rebo. Move me to the next level, oh God. You say you are the one who will teach me, who will lead me, who will guide me. Tell the Lord, I need destiny organizer. Who will organize it? Who will look? Who will manifest the orchestration of heaven in my life? I need my family cry unto the Lord, cry unto the Lord. Father says that uh, where two or three, whatsoever two or three shall which shall uh, ask concerning anything or not, our Father will do it for us. Matthew 18 19. Whatsoever, he said, whatsoever two of us, I'm in agreement with you, you are in agreement with me. Oh my Father, that thing, just name it. What opportunity have you passed by? What a lot of us, we are so risk, um, we are risk averse, we are so uh, uh, afraid. Do you know living life is a risk by itself? Starting this VCM is a risk. I just had to trust God. I had to believe God. I had to believe God. And I started it and look at where we are today. My JK Rebels, what is the Lord asking you to do? I'm not talking of ministry alone. I'm talking of what we lift you, what we make the purpose and the plan of God to be achieved in your life. Whatever it is in the life of your children, encourage them. Your spouse, encourage them. My JK Rebels, Soto Baba, I not be afraid. I will not be afraid. What the Lord has taught me, I will not be afraid. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. JK Rebo, we come back, Lord, to give you thanks. We come back, Lord, to appreciate you for this, for this prayer point because you are going to connect us, Lord, to destiny connectors, destiny facilitator, and destiny organizers. In the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, Father, I declare to your children there is so much that is happening in the world. So much that is happening in the world. But the word of the Lord tells us, He promised us in Psalm 118, verse what? Verse 17. Actually, we read 16 and 17. It's a declaration I'm going to make on our behalf, and you can join. Psalm 118, verse 17 says, You shall not die but live. 
to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. You and I shall not die before our time. We will accomplish purpose. I do tell people purposes keep you alive. Let your purpose be aligned with the purpose of heaven. Heaven will not come. We call you home. You are not just occupying real estate. You are doing something according to the will of God. Before you came, before you were formed in your mother's womb, the Lord knew you. And guess what? What will accomplish it is what is Tony has put on verse 16. Now says the Lord, the right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The hand of the Lord does gloriously. The hand of the Lord does mighty things. The Lord, the hand of the Lord, the right hand of God does miracles. You are going to now pray to the Lord and say, Lord, oh my shake rebosata, let your right hand, let it do me gloriously. Let it do glorious things for me. Let it do mighty things for me. Let it do miracles for me. In this month, this month is going now, and I'm going into the month of grace. Tell the Lord, Father, let your right hand, let your right hand, my JK Rebosoto, do miracles for me. Father, we thank you, we give you praise, we give you glory for this prayer summit. My God and my King, have a way with us in victorious battle. Sweet Holy Spirit, you usually speak. My Father and my God, you speak. Oh, my J.K. Rebosa, that the third person of Trinity, you speak. The one that the Lord Jesus promised us, that he will show us things to come. We will not live in darkness. We will not live in ignorance. Say, I will give you the third person. I will give you the Holy Spirit who will lead us. Father, you have said, you are the God who leads. How do you lead? Through your word, through the Holy Spirit. Oh, my J.K. Rebosa, the Holy Spirit speak. For your children will listen. As you speak, Lord, let me hear you clearly. Let me hear the inaudible. So I can declare your counsel, O God. My Makuria Rebosata. In Jesus' mighty name, we have asked. Amen. The Lord is saying, I heard in my spirit, man, that there's someone here, and like I always say, as my my spiritual father, the um, general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, who said there's someone here, but out of 50 of us now, maybe 10, maybe one person, but you know yourself. Father said, you are in fear of death. You are in fear of death. He said, even to sleep. Ah, Jekere Bosa. Makuria Baba Seke is a problem. To close your eye. Father says, hey, I've taken power from death by the sacrifice of my son on the cross at Calvary and by him rising the third day. He said, death does not have any sting anymore. He said, the grave has no power. Why are you afraid? My people, why are you afraid? My son, my daughter, why are you afraid? He said, if you will, commit your life into my hand. From this night, tell the Lord, if you have an altar, you could be by your bed, could be on your pillow. Say, Lord, I commit myself, I lay my life down, my J.K. Rebos sat on this altar of sacrifice. I close my eyes now. Uh -uh. Say, do you not know that the psalmist said, I lay me down and sleep, and I wake up again, said, because the Lord keepeth me. Said, let me that he wants to tell you, I should let you know that the Lord keepeth you. You should no longer be afraid. Sleep because I'm watching over you. 
Says he that keepeth Israel does not sleep nor slumber. Thank you, Father. So from this day, we shall sleep and shall not be afraid anymore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes, my Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My God. My Father says that health issue. He said, you've not been able to share it with anybody. You don't want anyone to know that health issue. You are keeping it. Ah, my sata, my basete, and it's eating at you, even your heart. It's not a heart issue, but it's talking at your heart, and he say, hey, with this, with this health. Health should not kill me. With this health, no, nobody knows. I don't want anybody to know. Abba Father says, I know and my eyes are seeing you. Oh, my J.K. Rebosat, I said, lift it up to me. Say, my children are carrying too many burdens. Lay it at my feet. That health issue. Lay it at my feet and I will be your burden carer. I will be your burden carer and I will give you peace. I will give you health. I will give you joy. He said, you know yourself. You are on this prayer line this morning amongst these 50 people. Hmm. My JK Rebosata, Jehovah Rafa is here, your healer. My JK Rebo, you will not come in vain. He says, I will not allow the house of Jacob to seek me in vain. I will not allow the partners of VCM to seek me in vain. You could be doing a thousand and one things from all over the world, the four continents, the four corners of the world where you have called him. He said, No. I will not let you go, my Jekere Bosata Baba. Father says, My hand is outspread and touching you now. Whoever that person is who has that health issue, I'm touching you, I'm touching you, I'm touching you. My strong arm of love is touching you. Underneath you are my everlasting arm, and I'm carrying you because you are the apple of my eye. Just lift it to me. Please lift the that burden to me. Leave it on my laps. Leave it on my hand. And you will see that you will enjoy perfect health. It's mine to give. It's your bread. It's your bread and it's mine to give. Thank you, Father. Oh, wonderful God. Thank you that forever, Lord, your word is settled. Oh, my Jekere Bosoto Baba Baba. Father says that somebody's way is so dark. You just cannot figure out where you are. Except when you are, you look back, you don't know. It's dark. You are looking forward, you don't know the way forward. So, figuratively, is that dark place you are coming to? Like the dark. You don't know. You are so confused. Father says, I should tell you. Mm, because you're on the platform today. You're on this prayer summit. Hey, care more. And I've said that this summit, this, this VCM, this ministry is a place of encounter. Say you have encountered me today. The darkness in your life is disappearing right now. And my light, my glorious light is shining there. My glorious light is shining there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that your child shall see the way forward. Father says, don't look back anymore. Don't look to yesterday is gone. Say, today is yours. Tomorrow is mine to give. Say, look forward. Look forward. Don't, don't be in, um, don't, don't be in despair. <laughs> Don't be in sorrow. Ah, I've lost this. I've lost. I said, just look forward. The darkness that the enemy has created around you is dissipating right now. Right now. It's as if your, your brain is coming back to work. It's coming back to work, your brain. You know, it's as if 
a light bulb is going on in your mind and you're like wow how did i get there how did i get here father says i'm the one leading you by my spirit do not fear do not be afraid you will start to make decisions that make sense with the spirit of the lord decisions that will take you out of the rut you have been for years then my spirit will lead you in the name of the lord father we give you praise ah my jk what an awesome god what an awesome god Ah, my JK Rainbow Satan, as we close, the Lord say, Tell them all I need from them. Ah, joy. Father says, Some people's joy has gone. I hear that right now as I was about to close. Say, Joy. People have lost it. Just I tell them. Righteousness will bring them part, back to the place of joy. Holy living will bring them back. Tell them I'm their righteousness, but they need to walk in my ways. Tell them it will bring them to the place, back to the place of joy. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration this day. But this is the day that you have made. We have come to encounter you, Lord, on this summit. As you go to our various homes, various endeavors, some will be going to bed, some it is 2 a.m. in their country right now, some it is uh, maybe 10 p.m. I pray, Lord, that that which we have received today, the enemy will not take it from us. Amen. We shall internalize it and it will make us good. We'll trust in you, Lord, that thus yes, the Lord shall come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed there be your holy name, o Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Messi, on to just give us some um, the um, the announcement briefly, and then we will thank the Lord for what He has done. If you know the Lord has done something for you, please don't go away. We bring uh, Minister Benjamin and we can dance. We will dance, you know, in appreciation of what the Lord has done. Minister Messi. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory Amen. be unto the name of the Lord who indeed has done us well this afternoon. Hallelujah. We want to say thank you so much on behalf of the Lord whom we have come to meet this afternoon and on behalf of the such woman of Victoria's Circle Ministries, Pastor Jimmy Kilo, whom you have just heard, hallelujah, minister, um, by the spirit of the Lord unto us and the ministers, we say thank you. Thank you to all the pastors on this very um platform at this moment we honor you we say we are so grateful thank you to our mothers and and brothers and sisters thank you from everyone thank you to you connecting from all everywhere throughout the globe we appreciate your time but more especially the lord appreciates your meeting we said thank you without you there will be no meeting. Your, you and, and the Lord and us together, we have formed a formidable force. We say thank you. Hallelujah. Now, if you were here at the beginning of the meeting, you would have heard uh, some of the things that we do in Victoria's Circle, which is the other arm, I mean, the, the outreach ministry. Part of the vision that the Lord has put in the heart of his daughter is to reach out to the widows, hallelujah, and also reach out to the fatherless, 
uh, those who have lost their husbands or wives. Now, to that regard, we gather whatever we have that the Lord has enabled us with, be it in form of money, especially, and we channel this uh, resources to them. So we encourage you to partner with God and make this your kingdom contribution. If you're looking for an avenue to impact God's kingdom globally, uh, please send in your love gift to look in the flyer and you will find the contact for Pastor Kilo. Amen. Or visit us at www.victoriacircle.live www.vcm.life we have an avenue there where a channel where you can give also and you you can also record your testimonies on the website as well amen we say nothing is too big and nothing is too small but whatever you put in our hands be sure that it will reach that one who has lost lost a husband it will reach that one who has lost a wife it will reach that kid a man who has no father or mother it will reach that one who is so much dependent and hoping that the lord will provide for them but let you and i be the ones that god will provide to them through amen and amen now if you have a home church we say thank you we appreciate you but if your time allows you during the week Amen, especially on Tuesdays evening here in the U.S. by 6 p.m. If your time allows you, <clears throat> we meet, amen, every Tuesday for Bible study and prayer. It's, more, it's mostly a prayer meeting, but we do break the word there also. And God has never failed us. God has never failed. In fact, the Lord is has been so truthful and, and faithful to his word because he said wherever the two of us <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> sorry because of the allergies wherever the two of us uh, are gathered he promised us that he is in our midst and we i can testify that god has not failed us in this wise we meet with god he shows up so please if you know someone um who is needing a prayer someone who is believing the lord Bring that person, uh, direct them to us, uh, to the meeting on Tuesdays. And um, we believe God that answers prayers. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Um, again, our monthly meetings, our summit is at the last, always holds on the last Saturday of every month. And by the message, in fact, the scripture says in, in the book of Acts, it says, we have continued up until this day because we have been mightily helped by God, mightily helped by God. Amen. So the every Saturday, last Saturday of every month, we meet on this altar, this prayer summit. And God always, always is here to do us well. So once more, we say thank you for your time. We love you and we appreciate you. Amen. So please don't go away. I'm going to um, pass it over back to uh, our pastor, a set woman of VCM for uh, the ironic blessings that will that would that would carry us the prophetic word that will launch us into amen uh the month of may so please don't go away and as the prophetic word, word comes open up your heart again once more to receive from god thank you pastor i hand over to you thank you so amen. much minister mercy god bless you and god bless amen. everyone who has stayed here that too there is no Holy as the Lord, there is none besides the Neither is there anyone like our Lord. There is no master to Our Father and our God, there's no faithful, there's none holy. Like you, O oh God. Father, Lord, your children, they have come to this summit, to this mountaintop, to this prayer altar this day. My God and my King, we thank you throughout the month of April, we did not lose anyone. Father, Lord, because you're a faithful God, I once again commit them into your hands, Lord. The eyes that does not sleep nor slumber, 
the God who has promised that the sun will not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. The stars in their courses will not walk contrary to us. Therefore, my God, you say you will give your angels charge over us to bear us in our hand so we do not dash our feet against the stone. Father Lord, you said that in the shadow, in your secret place and under the shadow of your wings, you will keep us. Say the arrow that fly by day as we go out, as we come in, that destroy bullet and, you know, any trouble in the street, on the way will not be our portion. You said, oh Lord God, that the sudden destruction by noonday, we leave the house, our house, we do not come back in. Father Lord, within the house, we are there. Hurricane comes, carries tree and lands it on our houses. We are driving, bridge falls. Uh-uh, it will not be the portion of your children. Therefore, Father Lord, into your hands I commit them. I say, Lord, you will keep us, you will guide us. You will be with us, Lord, throughout the month of May, which is the month of grace. Your grace shall abound unto us. What we couldn't do, Lord, for the first four months of this year, grace will empower us. Grace will enable us. And we will achieve much more. We shall not fear. We shall not be afraid. Thank you, Father. For glorious things, marvelous things, valiant things, your arm of love will do unto us. And the whole church, we can unmute to share the grace. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. And forever, that you made it, I will bring this Benjamin up now. We shall dance and say, Father, I'm grateful. Hallelujah. Amen.